this is um I recommend that like this, if you're just shutting down E4, is the simplest approach. This is technically not correct, but it's, it's you know, if you plug it into the computer, what it's gonna tell you is that white's best moves are like this. So it's just gonna say that white's best plan is to play into the Stonewall Dutch. So uh, yeah. if that's the best that white can do, you're fine. Um, okay. Don't worry. Uh, shutting down E4 is the most important thing. Now, if you do this, they can play e4. Now, you're not going to be able to get your Dutch because this is like, this is the last thing that you want to allow. Yeah. Because you can't develop your knight and you can't put your bishop here. Um, no why, wrong, sexy diagonals. Right. I mean, why this game is important to look at is because you actually, you played not into your Stonewall Dutch. You messed up your opening a little bit when you played knight f6. Like the better thing to do here, just go here and then f5. Easy. Okay. So f5, knight out, and then you have your stonewall dutch. This is not a very scary setup. But whatever you played this, bishop f5, this is like your reverse opening, right? You usually play this with white. Yeah. So I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, I guess you were trying to castle queenside. So you developed like this. But here, nothing complicated. Just go for a short castle. Yeah, right. I just, I didn't, obviously... I don't know how, see, I don't understand how much things are like worked, but like, I didn't know if it was worth him sacrificing his, uh, the reason I, that's not the reason I don't this. The reason I don't this is because I was afraid of him going on the F7 pawn. Um, uh. And I was like, do I stop him from doing that? So I still have the opportunity to castle. So if you think that this was like some master plan from this point, when I brought that queen out there, I'm about to break your heart. Cause I was just like, I don't know if I want him being able to do that, you know? Well. I, I like this. I like that you recaptured with your e pawn. That's 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 exactly how you're supposed to do this. You had another game where you took with the c pawn, so it's better when they take you to take with the e pawn with black in the stone wall. You keep this kind of like dragon scale yeah. of pawns, and then you open up the e file when you make that trade. So, mm -hmm. uh, but then in this position you didn't take the knight, <laughs> so maybe it wasn't the master plan. Maybe you just didn't want to allow the queen to be attacking you. Yeah, because what you did is very logical. You were like, my bishop isn't out yet, so I'm going to develop it. But you have a lot of games where early on you can you can punish the opponent because they just do stupid stuff. Okay. Um, but solid, okay, what does that move attack? It attacks this pawn. Right, so we just want to shut down these one-move mistakes. Like, if you can minimize your one-move errors, you'll be unbeatable in pog champs because that's... You know, ninety percent of games will be decided like that. I, I don't know. I don't know if that like. Well, I I know, so just trust me. Okay. So. Well, I hear I heard you saying that to two other people this week watching your stream. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, <laughs> the same advice goes to all of you, man. Um, True. But I if can't... everyone does it though. Well, then it's gonna be good. It's just gonna make for good like good games. True. Um, True. You know, like the 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 most famous clip is obviously the six move win, um, which is like everywhere from the last pod champs. But like we don't. Like, we don't want that. Like, even if, if coaches, like, as you said, are going to prepare each other for the opening, we're not going to prepare, you know, traps where you're supposed to win in, like, seven moves. Because that, of course not. if anything, that'll just better. discourage people. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's uh, it's easy to sacrifice, like, one person like that. But, um, okay, but here, here, here is why this game uh, is so brilliant. Um, you lose two pawns. The guy just, like, starts, you know jumping in on the queen side um and then here you played a really nice idea so you you got triple forked and you yeah, were I remember you know, this this wasn't happy about what was going on here i'm not gonna lie i feel like i took ages to eventually find a move i don't know if you can see the timing but i think there was like a, yes i usually did move in like a few seconds and i feel like i took ages to like eventually because my queen gets like almost trapped at some point if i remember this game yeah, yeah. Well, uh, he, you know, he he jumped in with the knights. The reason why I like this game a lot is because it's this this game is literally exactly like uh, a good game of of chess or or sport or anything like that. Like you you screw up, you give up a you know a point or two, and then you start fighting back. Like technically, the best move here for him is to change his approach and to take this rook, because he. Okay. But but he you know he sees his queen is under attack. He misses it, so he takes on a seven. You find that you can take this knight, and then you recapture b3. You brought your queen down to attack his bishop, which is great. Now here, um, there's a tactic hidden in this position that I wanted to, to show you. Uh, use your puzzle-solving skills. 
Checks, captures, attacks. What do you play mm -hmm. here with black? What do I play with black? Checks, captures, attacks. <clears throat> uh, I can't check him right now without putting my queen on the line, which doesn't seem to make sense. Um... I don't know. The only like maybe bringing my bishop to b three, but like I think he just moves at one place. Well, careful, careful. Wait a second. You oh yeah, move. sorry. My queen's under yep. attack. Sorry, excuse me. Um, so it, it has to be a queen move. Yeah. There's only one queen move in the entire position which attacks a piece directly. And There's one queen move. Um, and once you see this, you will see yeah. this pattern forever. I mean, I, I, the same position that I was going to go with the bishop attacks is... But it, it's like it doesn't. No, he just moves it, you know. Well, no, it's not even. It's not even an attack, right? It's just that you see the rook, but you're not really threatening to capture it. Yeah. How about this rook? How am I? How can I not notice it? Because uh, it's very subtle. Because the queen. Oh, because I just come back one piece. Yeah, and he's actually got no way to save this guy. Right, because. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's a, it's a weird position because he's got two bishops in the way. Like, normally, you know, he just moves a bishop and it's it's guarded, but he can't do that. So, lost in all this is that this move literally wins you a full rook. Like, not for anything, yeah. just a full rook. Well, his best move would probably be to go here, actually. Just give away the bishop and then defend, but you win a bishop. That's like, right? Yeah. So, but this kind of rook trap in the corner, you will see this. Like, this does happen with bishops. Like, rooks just randomly get cut off like that. But here is where, like I said, the thumbnail. <laughs> the thumbnail. This is this plan that you made was absolutely genius. That's what I said. When I was looking through your games, I was like, holy hell, this is like... Th I this hope is... I've done it on purpose, and I'm hoping you ask me what I've done. <laughs> you, you, so, in this position, uh, first things first, how do you evaluate what's going on here like who has a better position or like can you not even tell who has a better position what like it well i feel like my pieces are better developed than my pieces are yes protected, so like I you're down better position. you're down material but as you just said you got a lot more pieces playing yeah you are also not going to win this game on this side of the board there is nothing to be won there he's just going to march his pawns yeah so you, you like you might not think that you put all all your you know all your thoughts together here but you played a br like you played a brilliant idea as far as i'm concerned you played h5 like if you plug it into the computer it's going to be like well you know that's not the most accurate move actually the best move is to go here which attacks this pawn and also puts yeah. like but this is great because you're focusing where you're stronger i don't know why the computer is an angry british person but um <laughs> h5 is a is a fantastic move and now the guy plays bishop a4 because he he doesn't really see that you know, this plan is doing anything. This is not under attack, and you just continue chugging along, trying to weaken his light squares. Now, he could have stopped you from coming forward. At this point, I would have sent the second pawn. Yeah. Like, I would have gone here and here. Just try to chip away at his king's defenses. But he lets you in all the way he took, removing his only active piece from the game. Right, it's gone. Like, this bishop isn't getting anywhere. His rooks are trapped. And then just h3, like, and now black is completely winning. Just straight up completely winning. Like, you, you might not realize it, but... No, um, I do, because obviously if he pushes the pawn, I just go up one space with my queen. And I don't know if that's what I did, but I hope I just... Here? I just, sorry, no, obviously I don't visualize it as well. Obviously now I can just go in and check my... Yeah, it's actually funny, because in the game you did go here. <laughs> oh, I did, did that? I? <laughs> I didn't want to show this part, but, j <laughs> dude, you did everything. I mean, you did everything. It's like yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I, like I like looking at it now, it makes absolutely no sense. But I I would imagine it was just I don't know if I had like maybe not a lot of time left at this point because a moment ago I even said it when his pawn was there I didn't visualize going onto the G two square. I was just like I've got to move twice. But seriously. I know. But you, dude, it was. I mean, this was when I saw this. I was like, holy hell! Like you you blundered, and then it, it it's the kind of blunder 
that screws everything up because this falls, this falls. But you just, you like, you didn't tilt. I mean, you just fought back, took your chance. And then here, you, I mean, like, the hand of God guided your play. Like, H5, H4, you, you spotted where you were, you know, you had a peace majority. You went, you attacked. The guy traded off his only active piece. And if, it was... Uh, if he had have pushed and prevented me from doing this... It's just to bring the second pawn in, like just straight away, just start marching up the board with the pawn. Well, he, yeah, I mean, he could have put up some resistance. So, for example, he could have played like this move, right? That attacks your yeah. queen, you can't take that, but then you just hang around. Like, okay. you hang around, like this pawn <laughs> weakens some stuff, you play h4, h3. It, it would have been harder, you know? But you made a yeah. plan and he didn't do anything to stop you, so whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, you know, um, I know, I, like, I, I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know, maybe you're like, well, I wanted him to play his best and then I want to be. No, no, no. I don't think that when I'm like, this was one thing I said to Annie mm -hmm. yesterday because like, I think honestly, Anna broke down things amazingly, just like yourself. And, uh, but she was, she, she was explaining one thing to me and like, she was like, ex she was obviously teaching me like, you know, the best way to play. Mm -hmm. and she was showing me a move that the opponent could do. And I was like, did he find this in the game? Cause like what you're showing me that he could do to me. I would never ever see and I'm not saying that like that's a, like I know that's like a lazy way it's like trying to like cheat the system and like you know just not quite doing a six move checkmate at the beginning but it's still like not learning like the best principles or whatever it, but at the same time like I don't think during Pog I want to win Pog champs you know I'm not like planning yeah. on being a grandmaster in 15 20 years or something um so yeah I know I'm happy for you to just be like this is what you should do because people might not react well to it yeah general practice like uh, you've heard me say this already if you've if you've been watching any of the other other lessons it's like kind of the same it's like uh chess instinct is i give you a position you should be able to tell me like what's going on that's actually what i'm going to do i'm going to go back through some of the puzzles later that you got okay. wrong at some point and talk about I those got positions lots of them wrong. that's fine <laughs> you 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 dude you won't realize like you do puzzles that are like several hundred points above your rating sometimes that's just what happens like you just have yeah. not learned that pattern you haven't learned that concept like trapping this rook uh, you're about to see that that rook trap idea in a in a totally separate game. Um, hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna invite you to another board. I, I wish I could do this. You know, we just see all the all the games in one place. But um, <clears throat> now it's just basically gonna take you a a large chunk of games to uh, to kind of understand what's good and what's bad, like throughout the first course of the game. So. For example, this is the game you just played. Look familiar? Yeah, yeah. well, I lost it, but I do remember it. And well, I, I actually, I, I went through the analysis board just before I came on call with you. So, I like the London early. I like the early bishop f4. I find it to be the most flexible move because you might think, well, I don't, I mean, this just moved too. Like, how, how is there any advantage? Because you already know what black is going to do. If black plays like this, you know that black is just going to play this like standard stuff. They're just going to like pawn in the center, you know, pawn in the center, bishop, etc. And then you can play like your usual setup with e3, knight f3, knight d2, the, the way you usually do, right? However, Honestly, I just I didn't know what I was meant to do against this. I even said it there like it was only what 40 minutes ago. Like when they oh. bring out the knight, I wasn't sure what was best. I just said like it feels natural to bring the bishop out. But I don't well, think... I'm going to show you a weapon if 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 they show you in the first two turns that they're going king's indian which is what he's doing right he's going yeah. you know peers king's indian uh don't go knight f3 you're gonna change your entire strategy here so play the move knight c3 okay you want me to do it or? Yeah, yeah i want you i want you to get familiar so okay. did you move it yeah. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, there's some sort of glitch. If I draw an arrow and then you make the move, it doesn't show up. Okay, <laughs> weird. So your whole idea here is that you're going to try to take the entire center. You're going to try to play e4. Okay. You're switching it up on them. So go ahead. Take the center. And you're trying to play for queen here and long castle. Do you understand why? Um, well, if I... Long castle, it brings my rook onto D, the D file, and it's like more attacking. Yeah, I don't it's know if that's why, but. It, it, you, you're you're moving your king to the left, and then when black goes this way, you're just gonna launch your pawns. 
Like, you're not going to let the guy develop every way that he's supposed to in the King's Indian, you know, the way you learn. No, we're just going to, like, try to kill. <laughs> so okay. um, you say, okay, well, well, what does that look like? All right, so go for the plan. Queen up. Castles. You castle. Life is good. Now, a lot of people here, they, you know, they're taught that when you castle on opposite sides, you can play, like, A6 to try to play some sort of B5. Um mm -hmm. Which is, you know, it's not incorrect. Uh, at this point, you can play something like, uh, I, I like to call this the trampoline, you know, because you need to jump once to get higher. So yeah. we're going to start with this move. What's the idea of this move? This is this is step step one of the pawn attack. Should What's the... Up the knight can't take the pawn. Well, you're thinking very defensively. I'm covering that square because who's no, going to go... That... Oh, no, I meant that, like, so the knight... Like when we move to the G4 with our pawn, like his knight can't just take it. Oh, you went this way. My, okay, good. Yes, I was like, don't worry about this pawn. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yes, G4, H4. Because I mean, yeah, you, you, I mean, that it's actually not even that bad. It, but but it but it will just get taken. But yes, F3, and then you know G4, H4, H5. Uh, <clears throat> conceptually speaking, like let me just let me just play a couple of silly moves. Uh, in this position, I, I just hope we're on the same page. I, I mean, again, I'm 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 making. Yeah, you're uh, making it easy to. Yes, but I, I but I want you to understand. What are you gonna do with this point? You're gonna take or push? I'm gonna take. Yes, because you need to open the rook. Like like pushing is fine. You get a big space advantage, um, but you're not you're never attacking. Not getting in at the king. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So you're gonna do something like this. Look at how amazing your position coordinates. That queen you yeah. moved up, now you're always eyeing to go there. Would it, would it ever make sense to... Uh, no, I was... So would it ever make sense... So in this position... So after he takes on... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Does it ever make sense to throw your bishop into the square? That's a hundred percent another idea of this position. Um, okay. I would love to tell you which one is better than the other. Um, I mean... It, you, That's what I would have done. Like, because I would yes. have brought the queen over. I yes. Just... You could do it as early as here, by the way. Like, yeah, but you know, the only drawback is you that you, you do, you do still need to castle before you start this attack. Yeah. Um, but you can win very quickly. Like, you know, people are not supposed to take, like they might, yeah, I just want you to get castled and then go, you know, start going on your, on your attack F3, G4. This is great. If your queen gets here, it's like borderline lost already for black. Um, cause you know, you're, you, that's it. Like how, like, how does he kick your queen out? For example, Again, if you stop this move, knight g4, how he can't? How, how does he remove your queen? Like good luck, you know. So, mm -hmm. and then you're just gonna do this. So this is a new weapon. You play bishop f4 on the second move, and then you see, oh, is he playing king's Indian? Nice. I'm gonna play knight c3. Now so you it's could, knight c3, queen d2, and then start yes. castle push pawns. Yes. Okay. Put, take take the entire center. Even if oh sorry, yeah, I forgot I forgot very four. Even so if when does he, he come in? like you could do it immediately if he allows it okay. if he allows yeah. it um if he stops it all right let's go to plan plan b just queen d2 okay. castle um actually my favorite variation against d5 is a very early h4 i'm just gonna show it to you just so you see it you could decide if if you like just moving your queen up you cool with that i mean yeah i mean you're you're, te you're telling me I can decide, but I will do well to remember this. Uh, okay. From one go, I I, I get that. I, I I like that. I, I understand the general idea. Now I'm sure I'll make some mess ups, but I understand that when he starts doing this, I want to like castle, alongside and start getting my pawns up the board and the queen active. So like I understand that concept. So like, but like deciding whether the H four is better, like I don't I don't know. I'm not gonna have a strong preference. Well, this this can be you may win a game just outright like this. So let, let, I'll I'll show this to you. He stops e four. You say all right, e three. Okay. So that's counterintuitive to me because now the queen has to yeah. go to the diagonal. Yes, 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 exactly. Which is why I'm I'm leaving you know queen d two if 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 you like it more you know optically speaking, uh, because you actually get to trade off that bishop by all means by all means. Um, but here I like this early move h four. And so black really should stop you from going h5 because something like this could happen. You play h5, black goes, huh, idiot. Like, I'm guard, like he's not going to, he can't take me. Yeah. So, so you're going to take him. 
Nice. And he's like, what? <laughs> so this position is already lost for black. Like, move move eight, this is lost. I would struggle to find that. Uh, the problem, I don't... There's obviously puzzles. I think I said to you this before. Obviously, in puzzles, I find the, the queen sacrifices and I find the... Um, Exchange sac like sacrifices. Like, yeah. sacrifices a little bit uh, more freely because I understand that this... I, I don't calculate all the way. I just, like, have a general idea that the piece is, like, aiming towards where, like, the danger zone is and I just, like, sacrifice it and then work it out. Um, but like for me in game to like start doing these sacrifices, like I feel like it's a little dicey because I had one the other day where I thought I sacrificed the queen on the back rank and like pre moved it and then like it, it wasn't a checkmate, like he had a way of defending it. So, like, I don't know if I want to like introduce like too many um sacrifices with like large pieces, um, under the assumption that I've definitely got a checkmate coming because like me seeing like five six moves in the future is something that I, I don't know if I with confidence want to do if it's like you know a big game during pog champs and yeah, like yeah, yeah. Get a... <clears throat> yes i no, I, I i totally understand it's like uh you want to you want to maximize your chances of winning and minimize your chances of uh you know doing something I ridiculous I don't, I don't mind looking like an idiot because i think pog champs like i don't take myself too serious i don't have an ego when it comes to chess and i just go be moments where i mess up i understand that but like i don't i don't particularly want to be like we're sacrificing the queen. Let's go. It's all over GG. And then it's just like, oh, yes. we just ruined any chances. And we are now yes. out of the tournament. And we're in the loser bracket. And uh, all my community are going to laugh at me profusely for the rest of my time. But yeah. Well, yeah, you, you don't want to be the, mon uh, you know, the, the kind of pinnacle of the montage for PogChamps 3. That's not a <laughs> leak. I'm just assuming there will be one. I would take but, it. I would take it. Uh, now, this game... Hold on, hold on a sec, hold on. If we are doing that, you, you, we've sacrificed our, oh. to go back a moment. Okay. All's I, all's we've done is sacrificed our rook, and now I don't quite see how we're finishing. Just I can see he's like very vulnerable. Um, All right, well, white to move. Make a threat. Okay, I, okay. Um, Got this? I put the bishop on Where? e5. Bishop e5. Oh, sorry, sorry, no. I bring the queen in one move. Oh, sorry. We can put the bishop... If we're moving the bishop, we can put on h6. That's a nice move. All right, keep thinking. Keep going. That's a nice move, but you got better. I've got better with the bishop, or I've got better? Because like, it seems to go with the queen first. Make a move that threatens okay. mate on the next move. That threatens mate on the next move. <clears throat> I feel like I need to move twice. Um... I need to get something on the H file, but I don't see it. Well, your queen is targeting this guy, so just yeah. get some help. I don't see it. If I had a rook, I could go there. I would obviously see it. Um, oh, sorry, the bishop on F. The F file, go to D3. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. And... It's hard to see, dude. No, you got it. Why is it hard to see? Because it took you 40 seconds? Yeah, because I won't have 40 seconds in game, potentially. Well, you know, looking at your puzzle solving, <laughs> I don't think you ever spend more than a minute on a puzzle. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. You know, in the, in, in the history of me watching you uh, play the game, uh, play, play, play your puzzles. So Yeah, it's usually uh, on the five-minute break. I know it's the excuse I always make. Um, but I don't find I don't think it's entertaining when it's a five minute segment for me to spend it all on one puzzle. Aha, uh -huh. that is fair. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. I always it's actually like when I when I'm when I'm coaching when I was co coaching full time I would tell people like go ten out of ten. I think I've told that to you. I like I don't yeah, care how long it takes, just go ten out of ten. But obviously, if you have a five minute break and then you know you got to go win like hundreds of millions of dollars in poker. <laughs> <Hundreds of millions. laughs> It's only tens of millions levy relax all right all right <laughs> yeah but then there's you know like the side action and you bet your car or whatever they do in james bond oh and... dude i've you yeah, know i've put my my uh, house keys on the line many a time i might not own a house and i've put off my uh you just put up someone else's house <laughs> <laughs> so uh but yes bishop d3 and then the only way to protect this with black would be to push this pawn in the way it just yeah. gets in the way and that's it um but okay, then you're gonna bring the knight to help the queen. The reason why this position is so winning is because white has a ton more development, just like in the last example that we saw where you were down a rook yeah. for a piece. And when knight comes out, 
you've got five pieces playing the rook you're also going to castle so let me just like show you what that looks like just optically and every piece you have is attacking yeah so nice. everybody's saying guys what what are you on about everyone's saying pawn h6 and you're just going to take this just helps white <laughs> what, what are we doing here <laughs> don't no i mean this just helps that you lose the last shred of defense so black has to play f5 um castles rook is coming uh obviously you know just like in the, the last game that we saw being in a winning position uh, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win the game but when you have six attacking pieces and they have one defender good things are going to happen yeah uh, yeah that makes sense maybe maybe we'll uh maybe we'll sacrifice the rook at some point and we'll scream for levy as if we're going into battle and maybe as well <laughs> um but like you had a you had another so so this was actually how the game went Right, you have like a very good position from the opening. You are a little bit better, a little bit more developed. Um, central space. I like this move. Just a solid move. Now here, here, here is the big first moment of the game. The move that you play isn't isn't a bad move by any stretch of the imagination. But my general advice for you is going to be: uh, if you can take space and have a space advantage, you should do it. So when I, when, when, when I, like in the game you played bishop d3, which defends the center, but when I say space advantage, what do you think I'm talking about? I would assume, like, I can't remember, obviously I didn't remember what I'd done. Um, oh. I assume pushing you, straight to e5. Yes, yes, and whether or not this is the engine stop preference is not not necessarily the most important. It's can just, I, I remember why I didn't do it though, so you can break it down. Okay, me tell me. So I was obviously worried that if he came forward with his... Uh, knight and then i took it back with his knight then he would push that pawn uh and it would be attacking my knight again and i wasn't sure if i was losing the piece so okay i take it he takes there and now he's attacking Oops. my knight uh-huh and i wasn't sure if this was obviously that pawn's not very supported so maybe it's just like being afraid of nothing and but i was just like not sure if i wanted to make him give me give him the option to make me move my knight again before everything else went down so this is yeah you 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 correctly saw the variation that he could play, but you misevaluated it. Uh, it which which ha like that's chess, you know. Like yeah, you, of uh, this this is not scary. So where would you move your knight now to just straight up go after this pawn? I would go to g five. Yeah, knight g five. Oh, sorry, knight g five or even knight d two. Now here you're gonna have to remember a rule of chess. Why does this move not defend this pawn? I'm going to every other chess I should know. Yeah, on Poisson. Oh, man. I was talking to Anna about it yesterday. Uh -huh. we, need, we, need, we need a gentleman's agreement. We need to talk to some people. We need to get rid of the on Poisson. It's very rude. So, no no on Poisson in Pog Champs. Like, on Poisson is auto oh, I, I was hoping. I don't know if there is a... I don't know if it's an option, and I don't know if even people would want it. But I think uh, in-game chat um, with people, and uh, I can just ask them politely at the start of the game and remind them gently if they're about to do it that Ampasan is very rude, and I'll be asking for their omission for the rest of Pog Jams because how are you supposed to see that? It's it, the rules should be rewritten. Like Anna told me that it was the last rule added somewhere. I can't remember exactly what year it was done. Uh -huh. but, um, I think she said it was 1800s, and I was wondering maybe they're experimenting a lot with mushrooms or something. They want she to be able to teleport their pieces, and I was like, this isn't. <laughs> This isn't a real move. No. It's like they were just like, some guy was losing all the time. He was playing super attacking formations. He was marching his pawns up the board. And then they were like, do you know what, dude? I'm over this, Manuel, from Spain. Because that's, I'm assuming, where it was invented. And then they were just like, en passant. En passant was definitely invented well, in France, wasn't it? <laughs> Anna, Anna made a mistake. This is not the most recent rule implemented in chess, actually. Uh, okay. it, it's the second to last. The, the most the most recent rule. They, they, this was actually like brought in front of uh, the global chess federation. Well, uh, we need to get them on the phone after you tell me this. I'm gonna talk with the Ampasan. Well, but tell me what. Yes. So the 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 actual most recent update was the fact that if you're playing a, an online uh, blitz game and you win and you don't give your opponent a rematch, uh, you are actually barred from all international competition. So if you win, quit. Wait, wait, wait. Uh you're such a piece of garbage. <laughs> Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. This is, okay, I have been trolled. Okay, okay. No, I mean, uh, I, I'm gonna just quickly, sim can I, I wonder if I can simplify this position. Let My me... chat's going on about the 75-50 move rule, as that is actually a, a more recent introduction. 
I I don't know the history of the rules of the game, but here is why the Ampassant rule was invented. Okay? You're, oh, yeah. Listen. You see you're the board? Gonna be on the wrong side. You're going to be on the wrong side of history if you're going to... If this is the hill that you're going to die on, I, picking up the Ampassant. Listen. When I win Pog Champs and declare to the world that the Ampassant needs to go, I'm going to get t-shirts printed with the, the Ampassant as nonsense. Just so you know. <laughs> listen. <laughs> if you... Here, here's the thing. If you complain a lot about chess rules, I'm going to get angry <laughs> fans on YouTube telling me that you're not listening to your coach. All right? So that, that's that, that's how this works. Dude, They're going to complain about you. angry on YouTube. Straight, straight up, by the way. So <laughs> imagine you have the white pieces here. Your one pawn dominates both these pawns, right? They yeah. All three. So this this they guy can't they, move. They, they, they could have sorted out that pawn before it got there. But anyway, we'll continue to anger the chess people. Go on. So the whole point is, back in the day, the pawn could just go. Like, it could just go, and it would just walk past this pawn. But they wanted to... You see the move I made, right? Yeah, I do. But I, I just, I think this man has decided to tactically keep his three pawns in the bottom corner. That's why they did it. One because <laughs> they didn't want, you know, they didn't want something to happen where one pawn could just be like, nah, you, you guys can't move. And there you go. Like, that's that, that that's why it happened. So... Pawn to song. Yeah. Um... Wait, I can't even. Okay, so so I can't. I can't even Listen, reload. Dude, I I gotta I gotta stop wasting your time. Like I I'm very privileged that you're that you're giving me coaching lessons, and I'm I'm trolling you about a move that is clearly an integral part of how the game <laughs> operates and works. And I can feel and see the red mist appearing above your head. Maybe you need a new thumbnail, and it's just you mad. That you're not oh no no, it's not no no. I'm not I'm not mad. I I I already know how this works because I've been uploading so many different lessons um and i think the most recent comment i got today the so what i, I told you what i do i pin hate comments because i just think they're so yeah. funny so a guy today was like on like one of the most recent i forgot which one he's like you know i really appreciate this content but can you get less annoying guests and i was like <laughs> i mean why don't you come on my show you know like uh, the commenter not 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 you specifically but no 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 no, no i don't mind at all dude i i i i've never i would be the same as you i find them quite humorous and I don't like to go after people that are just like very weak trolls, but like when people are just like playing up like, you know, rude and just being dickheads, that's when I like to like call them out and make a show of them. And that's when they get salty. But uh, yeah, I, I used to write back, we used to make vlogs like years ago. And uh, I used to write back to all of the negative comments, like but like trolling them back. But it was, uh -huh. even that is a waste of energy. Like I, I wasn't like getting upset. I was just enjoying it. Like it was just a little, a little 10 minutes of, you know, Fifty time a day where I just troll the people that trolled me, but it's just a waste of time. It is a waste of time, but I, but I, having said that, I'm going to start doing a monthly show on YouTube, which is called Reading Mean Comments. So, because um, <laughs> I, I just, they're just too funny. Um, okay, so I gave you some advice, anti Kings Indian. At least for all the banter, you have to remember the actual chess advice I give, though. That's my yeah, only yeah. agreement. So make sure that you go G G tree. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, we go. We yes. go to the other side. I'm kidding. Okay. okay. Um. So. In in the game itself, there like was one you, big moment I messed up. Where all I'm... right, but here, already instructive moment. Uh, mm -hmm. you can, get a position, where you trade off two of his important kingside guards. So peace yeah. trades, like evaluating which are better than others. So right now, you play bishop e5, which which attacks his knights. So quite a good move but it it keeps too many pieces on the board um yeah. so this trade and now offer a trade of bishops you want me to offer it now yes um okay well i've only got two moves one in yep. the center and the one on the side of the board so which one do you think is better um I think the one on the side of the board's better because it keeps my pawn intact, but I don't know if that's true. Well, whoever said you're going to take like this, you're going to take with the knight, right? Yeah. Although, I, pawn is actually, it's not bad at all, but I think they're both okay. But the, the, the reason, why is this trade good for you? Like, like, why is this a good trade? Because there's more of a clear pathway to his king. Yeah, you just remove two, you know, and then who's going to get here in a couple turns? Me and two, or one. Sorry, no, it's two. So I can go with my queen, or I can uh -huh. go with my knight. There you go. So 
that is like something to keep in mind against the a, a, a Fian Keto bishop or what I mean. I just was the, definitely trying to trade Bowden for what it's worth. Obviously, I, there was flaws in that plan, but like when I put that bishop in there, like I was trying to obviously take his knight and then take with my knight. So like both of them pieces would come out, right? No, you're playing like you're playing great. It's just seeing through the tension sometimes can be difficult. So yeah. in this particular case, like the guy goes here. Can't you just take that? Yeah, because if he does, I just take him with my knight. Yeah. He takes. Yes. So it's just <laughs> the, it. it uh, honestly, it's just a free pawn. So it's hard. Like when you play moves like this, there's going to be a bunch of stuff here, and I already know your playing style. You you think things through. Like you could be down three four minutes here, just trying to work out what the best thing to do is. Yeah. Um, but that's not so the right the, approach, the, right? The engine, the engine here, uh, when I got the disposition, wanted me to go knight take, and I think this was this move. I could be wrong, but it from at this point is it my move right now in game? No, well he plays c5 in the game. Okay. So, so now it's your move. Okay. So maybe. What did I do here again? You pushed, which actually I also like for a completely different reason. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I just remember at some point, like when I like, I think I lost the game, was that instead of taking his knight with my knight, so sorry, I should say the positions. Instead of taking with my e4 knight on the f6 knight, mm -hmm. I went the other way and I, I went bishop first, I think. And I think the position was a little bit more open actually when it happened, so maybe it was a, a little bit further down the game. Well, look, remember, th this is why tactical patterns overlap. Remember this rook? Yeah. Like, I do. in the last position, it, it was stuck in the corner, mm -hmm. right? Because your queen was attacking. Oh, sorry, your queen was attacking. So right now, it's a very similar situation. You actually have a little tactic here that just, like, I yeah, think it can, I, it can, pretty sure. Take the, take the knight and then bring the bishop in. Yeah, I was thinking this move just, <laughs> yeah, you see? But so then if he, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, if he takes your bishop, what are you going to take? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Obviously, you're right. You're always right. I I don't know about that. But <laughs> so you have this. At the same time, your position might be so strong that it's even better for you. Oh, my God. Wait, look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. So you got knight takes, right? So yeah. the rook now can go here. Yeah, but then we got it. Oh, no, we don't have a fork. Well, you don't have a fork, but how do you make that fork possible? You don't have that fork because of this I guy. Get, yeah, yeah, I just push the pawn up one on A. Two. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do puzzles. Like there, that's literally you doing a puzzle in the game. Like, yeah. okay, now, now, bonus question. What of this? Bonus question. I would. I don't like. I'm not gonna get as many pieces, but if. Actually, I don't know. I was gonna say that I, uh, I just take his knight and then I win a bomb, but I don't. What are you gonna do? What was the move? Um, I was just going to. Take his knight. And then he takes my knight, and then I take him. But then I lose the pawn anyway, and then I take with his queen. So like it's one pawn up, but it's not exactly like getting a fork. I, I imagine there's some way that I can uh, defend the fork and eventually get it. It's it's it. it's tough because if you just back up, you kind of lose your uh, you know your 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 option to go to c6. If you take his knight and he takes you, why can't you take this just real quick? Yeah, the queen. Very nice. And the tension here, it's tough to evaluate what's fully going on. Uh, don't forget that when this trade happened, someone opened up. Yeah, my rook is now looking at the a7 pawn. That is a free pawn. And then you could get there very quickly. Can I ask right? one thing just before I guess? Because I know in some situations you sacrifice the knight for two pawns. So if, like, where were, I, were you going to say this? Yeah, and then... That's a great think, move. Yeah. Great move. Um, so that's called a desperado. Have you heard that word before? I've heard of it, and I got told by someone to learn about it, uh, and I didn't they learn about. It. They just told you. To, they just told you to learn about not it. A, they didn't tell a, you what it was. A, not a, not a, like a chess coach or anything. Like oh. it was just like someone like in my chat, like when I had a move, you know, like on my five minute break. They were oh. just like, you should look up this after your stream or whatever, and I never did. Got it. So a desperado is basically well, I'm gonna win the night. Um, 
you know, I'm going to win this night, but I am going to lose my night. Well, since I know I'm going to lose my night, I might as well get as much as I can for it. Yeah. So that you just jump right in. They take, now you take this. The difference here is that at the end of this, this is still a problem. Yeah. That's still a problem. So, uh, there's also this and there's also this. You're threatening to win three different pawns. And what's the most aggressive queen move that you have? You're threatening that with this which just wins yeah. the game. Like, straight up, check, king there, mate. Like, yeah. joke, like completely wins. So, uh, l little, you know, little tactics hidden in the game. Um, now, the game itself was, was, was wild. Like, this was another moment. I saw somebody here write something like, bishop here, is that a good move to attack the rook? So, bishop here in and of itself is not a bad move at all. It attacks the rook, you are guarded. But what happens when the rook goes here? Did you have a plan after that? Not really. Uh, it's not what I did. I, I no, no. There. Just asking, like, just answering basically to, to folks asking questions like, what do you think about this move? It's a very tough position. Like, you, you're just in a position that's kind of difficult because there's no obvious way to win. So you play a very aggressive move. He takes. You took. He takes like yeah. this and messes this up. Moment. Oh, he, he messed up? He messed up because he should have taken uh, with the knight. He shouldn't take where his defender is going to get removed. And you took it. This was the moment, though. So you just there a second ago. Like, yeah. that was the moment in the in the engine. Like, one move back where I took with the bishop. No, that's the best move. Really? Because the engine told me that the knight was better because then it's, I take with check. Yes. And then it, I get, it's and simpler. Then I get the bishop. Yes. It's simpler. So you just take the but bishop and... still won even though I, I don't know. Okay. Yes. So in this position, it's, it's, it's a matter of what you're going to take. So what you did is you were like, if I go here, that's open, so he can't take my bishop. But you forgot that the queen could take the bishop too. Yeah, that that's it. it. Yeah. That's really, you know, that's really the. the okay, so but where, where, what should I do? Like, what should I have done now? Like in this. Exact you, moment? you tell me. What, what's the move in this position that wins you the most material? Oh, sorry, I take the queen. With your queen. Yeah, yeah. And you're guarded, and that's just yeah. that. That's game over. I mean, you just you 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 win. What is this? A full rook? A full rook. Can you win with a full rook? I would like to think against someone rated the same level as me, I would be able to pull it off if uh, push came to shove. But I would not make any guarantees because I've definitely butchered games where I was like plus eight points before and stuff. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet my house on it the way I would in a game of poker. But yeah, I'd. I'd. I'd be slightly confident. Okay. Convert. Yeah. All right. I mean, push. <laughs> push. Push comes to shove. We got. We got to win games up a rook. You know, there's not much. You can't get much better than... Uh, if you can coach me into positions where I can get up a rook and I can't close them out, that's that's a reflection for myself and not you. What what if uh, what if you win a lot of games down a rook? Is that, um, is that the same? I, I'd love that. That's I'd love that. That's like getting down and dirty and like pulling it out when you're not looking like you're going to win. Like They give me so much more satisfaction than just like a, a very clean win. I did have one game of the Stonewall where... I got to bring my rook over completely and he just absolutely collapsed right in front of me and it was like watching porn like it was beautiful because you told me like how it should go down and that was that was a fun time and uh, i enjoyed that a lot but uh in other than that like i like i like the the swingy games it's like in poker it's all well and good like if you get all in pre like uh, before the flop and like you flop them dead and it's zero percent like there's a there's a bit of satisfaction in that because like it's over there's no sweat like if you get all in it's a 50 50 and they like flop you to two outs. So you've got like, whatever. I should really know this off the top of my head, but like 16%. That's yeah. amazing when you get there. Like the, the roller coaster, the up and down, like that's yes. like the most fun way to win. But uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take win.